life has looked like for the past, I want to say two, three, four weeks, maybe. Mm. I've been waking up early and getting straight on to work first thing. And it's been really working. I feel like at this point, like point in time it's what works best for me so that's what I've been doing I've been waking up having my greens and my coffee and I've been sitting down straight here at my desk to get some work done I get so much done I don't know it's just working right now so we're gonna roll with it exam season has pretty much like taken over my whole life but you know what I just want to like grind right now and do my best and then I can enjoy my summer do you know what I mean so a girl's got about like I want to say eight weeks till her exam. Is it eight weeks? My first exam is at the end of May. So I've just been trying to do what I can to go over all of my topics and stuff. And then maybe have like a week or two weeks spared to just bang out questions. Like I have obviously been doing questions like whilst I'm going over the topics and stuff. But we're going to see. Easter holiday is almost over as well. And I'm actually very happy because I, I spent most of my Easter revising. So I feel very proud of myself for actually getting some work done. Let's hope it's gonna pay off. Well, it was today's topic. I think today I'm gonna continue with cardiorespiratory. I hate cardiorespiratory, like I literally hate it so much. Funny enough, I thought this and he, like human development would be like my two favorites. So human development's more like babies and like birth, etc. And for some reason, I just don't enjoy them. My favorite at this point, I think it's brain and behavior. I think that's probably my favorite. Mm -mm. So now, Sorry, but how good does that look? It was a little trickier than I expected because the ingredients just said 180 grams of cottage cheese, one egg, and then one tablespoon of flour. However, I did use like five or six just because my cottage cheese was just too runny. Now, I love cottage cheese, so I feel like this is probably gonna taste like a cheesecake of sorts. Enjoy. 
It's very delicious. Could do with some maple syrup. Maybe I made my cakes a bit too thick. Definitely very soft on the inside. At least we're going to try it. It's okay though. It's not amazing, but it's okay. <laughs> you don't want to see anything plus blueberries and almond butter. And my love. Okay, so I've just gotten ready, about to head out to the library now. Your girl is very comfy, obviously. And I won't lie, I do maybe like take my shoes off and cross my legs and stuff as well. Because come on, we're there for like hours, so like I have to get comfy, okay? It's not just me. However, I will say I'm wearing layers. Our library is freezing. Like our library is so cold. I don't know if it's because it's like an old church that's been converted into a library. So it's got like really big high ceilings and like it's really, really cold. So I wore some layers. I hope I don't regret it. Whilst getting my bag ready, I thought I'd also show you some of my my like bits that I've been loving because I've been getting a lot of questions about my new like laptop stand slash sleeve. I would always see people using these in the library and I'd be like mm do you really need that? But now that I have one and I've tried it out and I've been using it for a while I stand, okay? I do. I do also want to say thank you to Moff for also sending these and for sponsoring this portion of the video. So this is Moff's laptop carry sleeve. It's a sleeve, like I said. You can pop your laptop in there, which is perfect so it doesn't get damaged or scratched in your bag whilst you're on your way to uni or to work. And I love that it also has like a little pocket in there to like pop in a cable or anything. And like I mentioned, it's a stand. So it's kind of like origami. You can fold it and it turns into your stand. That is so sick and nice. And especially these days with like exam season rolling up, I spend hours revising, I spend hours editing. Like I basically spend my whole day at my laptop. It is so much nicer for me to have something ergonomic like this for my wrists because my wrists do get like a little sore after like I'm tapping away for hours. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, they've actually sent me their like snap-on wallets as well, which I'm loving. And how cute is this like green color? It basically like magnetically snaps onto the back of your phone and that way you can keep stuff in there that you don't want to lose so like i put my oyster but you can technically throw in anything that you want even like a school id card because we all know how annoying it is trying to dig out the bottom of the bag so i just love it like this and it also acts as a stand both portrait and landscape I'll leave all the info from Moff down below, so make sure to go and check them out. And thank you so much to Moff for sending me all of these and making my life so much easier. Like, honestly, I love. And yeah, I'm going to get on with packing the rest of my bag. I do also have some lunch that I prepped. I actually need to fill the top bit up with some granola and some, like, blueberries. I have some Greek yogurt. I threw some, like, strawberries in there and some peanut butter. Very easy, very simple, basic, I know. Granola is crunchy, but I leave it in the yogurt for a few minutes and it gets a little softer which isn't the best but at least it doesn't make as much sound in the like library and i think that's pretty much it time for us to actually go to the library <laughs> i know i could like work at home as well but it's just not the same it's not the same i get so much more work done when i see people around me in the library like doing work i just don't go on my phone at all I actually get my work done i don't get distracted apparently there's this thing called like body doubling but i need to read up more about it so
your bestie. Ta-da, I'm back in my natural habitat. It is actually 12.30, aka midnight. Obviously, I got back way earlier. Um, I think it was like eight to nine-ish when I got back home from the library. Had a very productive, a very good study sesh. And then when I got home, I had a very quick and boring dinner before getting back to actually doing some editing. Obviously, I got today's video ready. Also, back to some work. I know, what an amazing day. And yeah, I think I'm gonna end off the video here. I'm very tired. I just want to like jump into bed. I hope you guys have enjoyed the spending today with me. I know bestie, I haven't been amazing these days. I've been very absent, I've been very quiet. I'm trying my best to just get this exam season over and then hopefully I'll be back to the usual, okay? I'll be back. Don't worry, I'll be back. And also, I know I always say that I have like very boring days and you guys always say that you'd still love to like watch it and see it. I hope you guys did enjoy like seeing the regular schmegler day in the life of a very stressed out uni student. This is real life, you know, not every day is gonna be fun. Yes, I do spend like three days in a row wearing the same things and that is normal. And yes, I do spend less time making fun meals because I, just don't have as much time and that is normal so just remember you're not alone bestie if you are having an exam period at the moment it is okay it's okay okay we're all the same we're in the same boat here okay look at me look at your bestie i need to get into bed anyways i hope you guys have enjoyed it like i said and make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and i'll see you guys soon in a new video Mwah. bye